What is going on guys, Greg here. Today I'm going to give you my initial impressions of the They Shall Not Pass DLC for Battlefield 1. I'm going to get the first thing out of the way. As always, DICE does a great job with maps. All four of these maps look absolutely amazing. Um, so look wise, there is nothing wrong whatsoever. I thought it was odd that they added a unlock system for the new weapons. It does not take long to get them. Some of the medic, the medic, one of the medic weapons I got within one game, the rest of them within a game or two. Some of them are a little bit more tedious than others. I just thought it was odd that they added this now. I was wanting an unlock system to begin with. That was one thing that was a lot of people were griping about. It wasn't that grind to unlock weapons like it had been in past battlefields. But they added it now, so I guess it's better late than never. Um, the new Elite character and the new Behemoth both seem pretty balanced. Of course, this may change with the meta of the game. Who knows? And of course, once everybody gets to playing, learning the maps a little more, these two may be underpowered or overpowered. We'll have to wait and see. But as of right now, they both seem pretty good. The new Elite character is a very good character if you don't get in an area, kind of like with any of the Elite characters when you're getting team shot by multiple people. But if you can catch one or two people at a time, you can do some serious damage with him. But like I said, if you get out in the open and there's a lot of people shooting at you, you're not going to survive. But just a second or two and you're going to be pretty much destroyed. Uh, the new Behemoth tank is very, very good also. Um, it is very slow, so that is going to be the disadvantage if you are the driver. But the advantage is you can go anywhere on the map. Unlike, you know, like the train or something like that where it's bound to a track and a certain path. You don't have that problem with this. It takes a good while to blow it up. But if you are a not smart while you're driving or if you're in there with a bad driver... It can get destroyed very quickly, a lot quicker than you would imagine, because it's something that you have to play smart with. If you do play smart with it, you can really change the way the battle plays out. You can really start capturing a lot of flags and helping your team push with this behemoth. So that one, that's the one thing to me that makes it a really, really good addition to the They Shall Not Pass DLC. The maps, guys, are kind of two different things this time. Uh, one side of it, you have two infantry-style maps. As you see, I'm playing one of them now. Kind of reminds you of the way Operation Metro used to play those real close quarters battles. A lot of explosions, a lot of action, non-stop action from start to finish. And a lot of people like those kind of maps, so I'm sure that's why DICE did this. So there's two infantry style maps, and there's two more uh, vehicle-based maps. A little more out in the open, that style thing. The two vehicle maps I'm having a little bit of concern with right now, but like I said, the meta may change a little. But it seems to be, uh, or seems to me, if you have really good pilots and really good tank drivers on the opposing team, they pretty much wreak havoc on you the entire game. And it seems to be, I don't i don't know, it's a little crazy, especially the way planes are playing right now in the game. Um, I, I think overall, guys, the DLC is really good. If you have not got to play it yet, if you're, you know, you don't, you're not a premium member and you're waiting, if you like Battlefield 1, I think it's definitely a good pickup. It's some good fun. My only concern is, I don't know if it's going to get a lot of people back into the game. I think it will get a good majority back. How long it will keep them is going to be a different story because you know how it is. You play these maps to death for several weeks to a month, and you kind of are back where you used to be, and you're like, well, do I want to go back and play Battlefield anymore? I know a lot of people are like that. My concern is, are they going to add anything between this and the next DLC? I know I'm looking into the future or a good bit ahead of time. But the next DLC won't be out for three or four months. So I'm hoping they learn something from what they did in Battlefront and give out some free stuff because I think this DLC right here is a good start for Battlefield 1's DLC. And I think it's kind of opening up the future to really, really good things to come. Anyway, guys, if you'd like to hit the like, get subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.